All right, love bugs. Uh, good afternoon, honey buns. Listen, I have a message. Somebody wants to express some feelings to you. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, two things. I don't know who this is, but they're feeling some sort of way about you, you, you. Number one, the name Stephanie is here. Either Stephanie is watching you or for some of you all, Stephanie could be watching you watch me, meaning this person knows you watch tarot. Um, but the name Stephanie has been coming to me all day. And then it got, um, it was in bold letters, like big letters. Um, I don't know Stephanie. So this would be for some of you all. Secondly, somebody feels like you maybe could be, you know, attractive or whatever. But they, they think you a little devil or devilish. Devilish. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But don't get mad at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the medium in the middle let's get this message and see how this person feel what they want to say to you because somebody don't i don't know man some little ish going on here take your love vitamin no let's see what this person want to say hold on a minute hold on a minute Ooh. all right what's the overall energy how this person feels or view the collective what's the message here how do they feel and or view the collective oh well-being so this person is saying, okay, you know, you could be well off. Something is about their well-being, your well-being. Um, some of these people, it could be your family that feels this way towards you. We'll clarify the well-being card in just a moment. Anything else? Financial health. So this person is nosy. They're looking into your financial life, seeing what you have, your stability, how stable you are. They view you as being very peaceful. Now, this could also be something that they may want with some of you all. Boundaries. They know you have boundaries. They know you do. Good luck. Your good fortune. Okay. 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 So, maybe that first message was just a message that someone needed to hear clear audio. What's the well-being card, Holy Spirit? About their feelings? The high priestess. You're too sneaky. You're too discreet. You're too mysterious. Seven of Pentacles. This person right here tired of trying to figure you out. So this is what it is. This person says something about you. They can't put their finger on it. And it's like this. They want to figure you out. It's and But they can't. You're very mysterious. You're too secretive. You're too private. You're too discreet. And for some of you all, they can feel like you're just hiding something. You're too sneaky. So that's why they may be walking away. Oh, excuse me. I had to burp. There could be some uncertainties here. They're just not sure because you hide your hand. You keep them waiting. You make them wonder. Um, they not and they're not sure if it's um intentional or if you are not aware of what you do or how you do it. This is also a person that's saying, you know, maybe I'm better off walking away because I just I don't know. It's something about this person. I can feel it. I don't know what I'm feeling, but I'm feeling something. What your person is saying about you. So their thing is maybe I should give it a little bit. Maybe I should take a step back. Let me examine this a little bit more. Let me make sure this person is into me. Let me make sure I'm making the right choice, the right decision, because this person is very discreet. Um, the word I keep hearing is mysterious. You got, and this person may view you as a very secretive person. So you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Earth sign. Or a water sign. What's the financial health card, Holy Spirit? The financial health card. Dang. <laughs> bling, bling. That's the first song I heard with Lil Wayne. Them bling, bling. They feel like, you know, for some of you all, they do. They add your pockets. They pocket watch you a lot. They pay attention to your spending, what you buy, how you shop, how you dress, your hair, your nails. Um, You being groomed, what you drive, where you live. This person takes note of a lot about you financially. Oh, yeah, honey. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, I hear that song. You got it, girl. You got it. So somebody feel like you got it. Okay, big baller. You know, you take care of yourself. You stand on your um, own 10 toes down. You can handle it. You got it. So this person is saying, okay, is there a need for them in your life? You know, should they insert themselves? You know, do you find them at the same, you know, like, do you see them the way you see yourself? Meaning... Are y'all compatible? Are they on your level? But they feel like you got it. You're stable. 
you, you, you're good or you are you the kind of person you can make money you can make a dollar out of 15 cents you can take five dollars flip it, flip it you got 50 legally flipping you take that 50 you got you know 500 500 you got a thousand you know how to multiply you know how to be fruitful and multiply you know you know you you know dividends so you know some things this person feels like you know you ain't no slow leap you got it. You got some sense about yourself. Even if you, if, and it's also for some of you all, they know if you had the right resources, you could do better for yourself financially. So you have a lot of potential. You just come off very mysterious. But the Queen of Pentacles is definitely a person that is resourceful. He or she this is also a person that definitely anybody would want to kind of wife or husband or settle down with. Yeah. See, this person, the King of Cups, this person definitely does feel you. I know what it is. Some of y'all, they feel like you make them jealous on purpose. You know how to make them hot under the collar. Yeah. Some of y'all might be doing this intentionally. Don't lie. Mm -mm. You say something, make this person jealous, make this person feel some sort of way. Um, you could be, you're, you're a good asset. You are an asset, not a liability, no matter what you have. They see your worth just mysterious i keep hearing the word sneaky i wasn't gonna say it but yeah they, they think you're sneaky all right suspicious like baby a told me today i'm getting suspicious or i've gotten suspicious some fish what's the peace card what's the peace card look at here queen of pentacles well-rounded balanced out um you're level-headed you're down to earth you're grounded i told you the two of cups got another shorty she ain't nothing like me Something, 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 something. I just want to have a good night. This person says you're the kind of person you believe in peace. They know you are a very peaceful person. Um, you don't believe in problems. You believe in solutions. And your thing is you don't like to add to the problem. You like to add to, oh, God, this person thinks a lot of you. I heard something I ain't heard in a long time. That's a real old school saying. This person that has a lot of respect for you. They just don't like your sneakiness. Whatever you be hiding or whatever you do, they don't like that. Um, you're their type. You are the kind of person they would want to settle down with if they ever thought about settling down. I told you, the two of cups and the four of wands. I hear that song, My Type. All right, what's the boundaries? So somebody here, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Somebody here feels like you have more options than what you say or what you let be known. I keep hearing that word sneaky very loud. You are very sneaky. They think your ass is very sneaky. Honey. What's the boundaries card? Yep, the page of pentacles. This person wants to offer you something. For some of you all, they want to talk to you, but you know your boundaries up. You And also for some of you all, you can have them on block. That's the sun card. So this person is simply saying this right here. I mean, I would say something to you, but you know, you always on defense mode. You always all iced up. You so stand offish. It's like you expect for somebody to hurt you or lie to you. You know, you don't look too innocent or you're not as innocent as you proclaim to be. For some of y'all, this person wants you to take a mirror and look at yourself and see yourself the way, you know, others may see you, you know, do you have something to hide? It's like you hiding something. Let me just say it. This person feels like you hiding something, honey. Male, man or female. Yep. Yep. They think you're a person that you work a lot for some of you all. You could be, you know, not a gold digger or a gigolo, but you are a person that you know you can have financial literacy or finances are a big part of your life. All right, close this out. Hey. They I hear that song about 50 cents. I want to get to know you. They want to get to know you, getting to know each other. There are some religious factors here, so y'all don't have the same direct belief or your love life is just influenced by religious upbringing or, or some sort of spiritual path. They view you as a free-spirited person. It could be you're too liberated. Those of you all that don't have, you know, responsibility of kids and, you know, if, or if your children are grown, you can do as you want, go as you want. So, it's like this right here. Some of y'all, y'all have very discreet private moves, and it's kind of hard to figure you out. The wedding card. I told you, this person looks at you like wife or husband material. There is some forgiving and learning this person would like to, you know, go over with you. Finances and career. They know your money, your career, your job, your work means a lot to you. You believe in being taken care of. Oh, this is also a person that wants to make sure they can add to what you have. They know you deserve love. 
for some of you all this is someone here family some of y'all this your family being nosy looking into your life this your family has been deceitful that's war mass they watch they watch you and they they are very very nosy i hear very nosy they're very very nosy and they feel like you hide something others of you all this is a person that has worn some sort of mask has been dece deceitful or they feel like you are deceitful they want to express their love all right but i keep hearing that song i, I don't know the name of it they want to have a good night i just want to have a good night doesn't mean sex like this, this is simple something simple can I take you out tonight? Excuse me, miss, but what's your name? Where are you from? Can I take you out tonight? They want to get to know you. There's Virgo, Cancer, Vol Virgo, Cancer, and Virgo. Tag! Virgo on the board three times, honey. Cancer on the board twice. So we're going to run this again for more confirmation. The dice are just extra confirmation for those that need it or want it. It doesn't mean it has to be these signs. All right, any other zodiac signs? You got Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, Capricorn, and Pisces. Peace and blessing. Great day. I hope this helps. Um, this is your person that like you. I love you. Namaste.